Today, I will show you how I created the same renders in Enscape and V-Ray and merged the two softwares together. As an Enscape user, I have always felt the urge to upgrade to something with higher quality than what real-time rendering engine offered. But honestly, the speed, the practicality and the ease of use of Enscape was just way too hard for me to leave completely behind. I mean, you can create a render in just three clicks and in under 15 seconds. How much better than that can you really get? But the thing is, I have always felt like there was a gap between photorealistic rendering and real-time rendering software. And if I didn't really fill this gap, I was going to drown in this hyper-competitive industry. So that's why I needed a bridge. And not just any bridge, but I needed the bridge. Well, in the past two days, I've had my whole conception of 3D rendering changed by this simple workflow that I will show you next. So I got started on my usual workflow. I opened SketchUp, launched Enscape, and I already had a 3D model from the SketchUp warehouse. And immediately in Enscape, by using the material editor, I went ahead and made changes to the graph height and variation. And as you can see, the landscape in this render is a bit more raw. So I made sure that I actually added some more irregularities to the graphs. In my opinion, the thing that makes the most difference in exterior renders which is an HDRI. So if you don't know what an HDRI is, it basically stands for high dynamic ranged images and it's a full 360 photo taken from real life, which we will base off our lighting in the render. In the sky tab, you want to make sure you click on make the brightest point act a sun direction, which will detect where the sun is coming from in that image. And you can also rotate the HDRI and now together with the rotation of the HDRI or the image that you have imported, the sun direction will change as well. I wanted to add some life to the composition. So within the Enscape asset library, I went ahead and searched for two people walking where I place them on the stairs so it looks like there is some motion and movement in our render. I edit some of the materials on the house facade and the whole Enscape material editor is very useful since you have the option of tuning the reflections, giving more depth to the materials and honestly it's just very simple since you can either import ready to use maps or you can even adjust them manually by tweaking the slider in the materials editor window. Now another important part here is the metallic roof which didn't look as realistic since it didn't act as a metallic material. But as you can see with a small tweak, now it has reflections and it looks much more realistic. Now the workflow up to here has been pretty basic and honestly not anything groundbreaking. This is our usual Enscape workflow, but this is the moment where the beauty of this workflow comes in. We can basically use our whole entire same workflow in the end, we just do a little bit of tweaking in just one button and we get 10 times the output that we would usually get. I'm not going to do too much work in Enscape, but I will just try a few different lighting options with different HDRIs. So I imported each one of them and set them up as separate presets in the Enscape settings. So let me know in the comments which one of these you like best. I went with the second option, but I think that we can make either one of those work. But just before I was ready to press the render button in Enscape, I launched V-Ray. And to your surprise, yes, all of the settings, the assets of Enscape actually loaded up in the V-Ray window. You might be asking yourself, how is this possible? Well, with the latest update of V-Ray, now V-Ray can automatically transfer Enscape assets, Enscape materials, as well as the Enscape lighting. Let me show you how this works even further. So I open Enscape and V-Ray on one side of the screen and then SketchUp on the other side. And all of the Enscape assets that I'm importing are also showing up on the V-Ray tab. Now all of these hundreds of comments that I get every day about Enscape mirrors not working correctly, this can all be fixed with this workflow because V-Ray has hyper detailed mirrors and reflections. To be honest, real-time rendering engines are quite simple and you can sometimes feel like you're plateauing in terms of the rendering quality, but this is not the case with using this workflow. If the VR workflow or user interface is a bit too complicated for you, you can always do the whole workflow in Enscape and then just switch to VR for the final touches, the final settings in order to have your output at least 10 times higher in terms of better lighting, more accurate shadows and all of that. You might be wondering, well, which one should I really use? So here's the advantages of each software. Well, Enscape is faster, simpler and more beginner friendly, which is useful for more conceptual work. But V-Ray is better at photorealistic images, comes with Chaos Cosmos for higher quality assets, objects, and just materials overall, 
and just overall is very high end when it comes to running faulty. The thing is, this is very useful for architectural offices because the conceptual design team can do some rough rendering in Enscape and that those files can be transferred to like the proper 3D rendering team. And then with just a few more steps in V-Ray, they can take the renders on to a whole new level. But if you are using both of these software in your computer, what I would suggest is two simple steps. And those are to actually lower the rendering quality in Enscape and to also lower the rendering quality in V-Ray, but also the resolution of the image. And this is just because your computer might get overheated or might not be able to handle both software at the same time. So just to make sure, do implement these two steps if you're using both in the same computer. Escape simplicity with V-Ray quality, just incomparable workflow in my opinion. Thank you to Chaos for sponsoring this video. And if you want to check out Enscape's latest update, make sure to watch the video right here.